Hello, welcome or welcome back. So let's do a little movement sequence in sitting. It's very useful, comfy, convenient way to start the day if you have to get up early for your job and you're not quite ready yet to face the day and you just have a little sit down <laughs> with reality a little sit down to uh, a small meditation to get yourself ready for the day or at the end of the day if you're not just if you're not ready yet to go to sleep so find a place to sit in a chair or on a couch in a fairly upright position with your feet underneath your knees and your hands on top of your knees not crossed over just like this very simple and uh, just sit for a moment feel how you balance your head on top of this is going to be great on top of your great spine and your so where are you sitting can you feel where you're sitting so when you sit on the more if you're on a chair more on the edge of the edge edge of the chair or more on the edge of your sofa so if it's too low might cushion it up a little bit so that the angle of your hip joints is not too steep and you take a moment to <clears throat> the first movement the first movement the first movement in this sequence so <clears throat> imagine imagine i'm sitting in front of you um, Imagine our knees like imagine there's a pillow in front of your knees and then our knees are touching Yes, our knees are touching It's like a quarantine thing, isn't it? Um, let's imagine my feet are Underneath the couch so you're not stepping on my feet or no, I don't step on your feet just our knees are touching and then Bring your attention to your right knee. Your right knee. Your attention to your right knee, which is touching my left knee, so your right knee. And think about pushing your right knee forwards a little bit. But you can't really push it because there's my left knee. So when you when you push your right knee, your right knee against my left knee see it isn't it doesn't push much and don't effort just another image imagine you're a skyscraper your upper body actually is a skyscraper a residential building a well managed luxury compound residential so it's it's not something that moves easily but you push your right knee your right knee a little bit forwards and thus feel feel what happens inside of you you're you're pushing your right knee a little bit forward but it doesn't move much because there's my left knee but you can feel there's a tendency of a twist your, your pelvis rotates actually your your right hip joint it comes forwards a little bit just a, a tiny little bit so that that's what I'm after that's what I'm looking for I don't want to have a big movement I just want to have like the beginning of the movement and that's why it's such a nice thing to do in the morning before your day or the evening before your day ends and your sleep begins And you can 
feel your whole body rotates to the left you can you, like you can feel that right your whole, your whole entire body when you push your right knee a little bit okay so i make a little bit space so you can so i retract my left knee so you can you can come you come you push your right knee against my left knee and the whole your whole trunk your head everything turns so if i would place my hands on your hands and help you rotate so let let your whole body don't look at me let your let your head turn let your head turn to the left hmm? and do this a couple of times so you're actually not sitting on you're sitting on your buttocks but inside your buttocks is the ischium which is a bone of your pelvis the lowest bone above is the ilium and in front the pubis and on the, on the right lower side the sits bone sit, sitting bone the, the lowest part of the ischium and and this shifts forwards and maybe your your left one shifts a little bit backwards or is, does it stay where it is what what is happening and your upper body is rotating feel, feel that it's like it's like the, all the screws screws <laughs> that's all the screws in between your moving parts are tightened a little bit too tight so so everything uh, moves like a block your whole upper body moves like a block but it's an opening of the hip joint the opening of the right hip joint and of course the ball of your hip joint is rotating in your acetabulum <clears throat> <clears throat> okay, and then we do some, let's do some differentiation. My, my, start with my favorite. So you push your right knee forwards a little bit, yes, which turns your body actually to the, to the left. Stay there, stay turned to the left and just return your head to the center now return your face return to look at me but only only your head so that's a differentiation of your of all the things that are in your neck only return and then return your head back to look to the left while yeah, okay let's start again so we start in sitting then you push your right knee forwards which makes your whole upper body turn towards the left and then you only return your head nose to nose eyes to eyes <laughs> hello and then back to this back to to the side again back and forth so you rotate this is actually it's the same like the side sitting lesson in the earlier video where we start to rotate up to 270 degrees three quarters of a circle so you bring back your head so <clears throat> all right and then we could do like all sorts of variations so that's i leave that up to you to push your right knee forwards and to not move your head keep your head looking forwards or keep your sh shoulders like we can differentiate the different levels of the the different floors of the residential building yeah, and always make sure you're not the tower of pisa <laughs> you're not leaning forwards or backwards but you're centered in the middle and, and that's what will improve actually with this rotation so we'll rotate all the parts up to the top of the head and de-rotate but we will involve in, involve involve every, everything down to your feet you can a actually push you can push with your feet or pull with your feet on the floor as well 
or we can have this little little twist together but it's not so much of a, a shaking and twist but of a controlled movement so you can turn and return your head and your shoulders or you can keep your head and your shoulders parallel to me to the front and only turn your pelvis and you will notice it will become easier 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 you will notice when you turn suddenly when you turn your head to the left oh my god it's so much nicer oh, than to turn it to the right can you try that if you turn your head to the left now if you just rotate to look over your left shoulder it's so much easier than looking over the right shoulder but to make the right side easy also as well it's we're just a couple of movements away from it but it's a, a certain type of movement with a certain type of movement quality quality we need to deliver quality and quantity <laughs> and by being with ourselves deeply. So I leave it to you because I think this kind of movement is best done in silence. When we push each other's knees and rotating let's keep a safe let's keep a safe distance because we're not wearing any masks which means we have to be upright we cannot lean forward we or the, so so this is one of my favorite movements at the moment Pleasure to share with you. So to recap, it's either a rotation of the pelvis or a rotation of the shoulder girdle without the head and without the pelvis or just the pelvis or a rotation of the head without the other parts or any combination thereof. Have fun exploring. Have a good day or a good night. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.